Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at Liberty Troll, where Zacky Boy goes to a another school board to F around and find out. But, before we get into today's video, as always a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep this channel going, so I want to thank you all personally from the bottom of my heart. If you guys are new to the channel, please... Subscribe to the page, leave a like and a comment because it really helps me with the algorithm, and if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Public enter here. This is the visitor lobby. No. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, I don't think so, not yet. Patricia, right? I'll let you know when I do. Thank you. Watching us as usual. Oh, blow it out your ass. There's a, looks like another lobby over there. Looks like uh, fingerprints down over here. That's another, another lobby. Hey, how's it going? Um, that's a lobby over there. How do I get through over there? Just to that lobby area? Yeah. Thank you. Oh no, I'll, I'll let you know if I think, I, eventually I'm gonna get a public records request. So I'll, uh, I'll let you know when I'm ready for that. All right, okay. thank you, Pat. Uh, did you, you need the form or are you here to pick up? Uh, no, I'm gonna just give it verbally once I, um, to, to whoever your designee is or equivalent to a PIO. Who's your PIO here? Let me see. You know, little Zacky boy here is starting to make me wonder something. Why is it that he's always asking for somebody to take his public records request verbally? Now, I could understand if his hands were immobilized. You know, maybe he had a broken hand, or, you know, maybe it was cast, or something like that. But yet, he's fully functioning. He has capable hands. Is it the fact that he maybe can't read or write? But then again, he is a frauditor, so... I'll let, I'll let you know. I, I got a little bit of work to do, but I'll, I'll let you know. Thank you. the uh, boardroom. Just can't go out this way. <laughs> oh, me? Uh, yeah, did, um, how do I... So this way is where the PIO office is, right? Well, everything is locked down here. You have to sign in and somebody has to come and get you. Okay. So um, I did tell our PIO officer that there was somebody in the lobby, might want them. Okay. I was just making sure they were there. Yeah, um, I'll so go like ahead. So like I said, we're a total lockdown facility. Um, but, I'll go, yeah, I'll go ahead and see them now or whoever that is. Who, who is your PIO? Um, Caitlin Butler. Caitlin Butler. Uh, Janet Murnahan is our director okay she is at a conference today caitlin would be the next person perfect that's fine and um that's fine public records are in writing so i do have the, a form if you need that yeah i just wanted to um give it to them verbally they write it down i get a stamp copy and then that's pretty much it now there are two working theories with zacky boy here theory one he can't properly read or write to fill out those forms to get the public records that he's trying to request or theory two he's doing this intentionally to waste people's time to waste tax resources on frivolous public records requests because he knows that's his little back doorway to get in 
for quote unquote legitimate business. Well, let me get you the form so you have it. No, okay, yeah, I'll take yeah, no, I'll look at it. Just have a seat there by that. Wonderful. You don't mind. Thank you. And Caitlin's on her way. All righty. Thank you. We're going to help you. <laughs> but like I said, if Thanks, you'd like to sign in, we'd be more than happy to give that out to get you. Yeah, that's fine. Where do I sign it over here? Come back over here. Okay. No, I don't drive. Pardon? I don't drive. All right. Well, then it can't make you bad. Just let me get Kate. Kate, we're going to come out that way. Okay. okay. Now, for the sake of timing and pacing, we're going to be jumping ahead to some key points in the video. So we're going to actually jump ahead to the public information officer talking to him about his public records and him getting a badge and him, well, being... This is the public records request form. Okay. I was going to get it to you. Uh, for, it's Caitlin, right? Yes. Catherine or Caitlin? Caitlin. Caitlin. Nice to meet you. I'm Zach. Nice um, so I usually just give it to him verbally and then you guys just write it down. I get a stamp copy. Um, so that's kind of like my receipt until I get the email confirmation. I'll give my email though so you have that to send it to. Okay. Oh, what do, what do you want me? Um, if you don't mind, if you could just write down the items here. It's about three or four items I'm going to give you. It's going to be first, last names, titles, salaries of all... Uh, public employees in this uh, facility mm -hmm. uh, for fiscal year 2024. Okay, and the public records request is pertaining to those individuals? It's just their public information, like the first, last names, titles, like job titles, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. salaries. Okay. Zach is clearly one of the laziest frauditors we've ever seen. I mean, look at frauditors like audit them. He clearly goes in with admission to fill out his frivolous FOIA requests, but he writes them out. LIA writes out his. Hell, JC uh, uh, News writes out his. But Zach is just too lazy or too dumb to actually do the work. For 2024. Okay. So, which of the do you want? What was that? Which, I'm trying to clarify what the actual request is. Those are the, that is the request. The name of the people that work in public information? Any public employee, yeah, any... Uh, any public employee? He works in this facility, correct. All employees in this facility? Correct. I don't... I don't I'm going to have to double check. To it's, double yeah, it's, I do it all, all over. It's, it's public information. Because mm -hmm. you guys are public employees. You work for the state. Right. Are you looking for specific employees? All or of them. everybody as a whole? I'm being generally specific, yeah. <laughs> so first, last names, titles, job titles, of salaries. Everybody that works Everyone in who works in this building, that's correct. Only here at the school board. Only here at the school board. Okay, okay. so that's... And you, you verbally done public records requests oh, yeah. in the past? Yeah, uh, the chapter one time, chapter 119 of the Florida statute, mm -hmm. you can give it verbally. Sure. And then you guys just write it down and, and submit it to whoever Sure, so we're happy to just write it down and give it to our public request. Um, yeah. Our I appreciate public it. request specialist, and then mm -hmm. she can go ahead and get back to you if anything else is needed. Do you work in the same department as Caitlin? We're in the same Caitlin? department, correct. Okay, and who are you? Yvette Cruz. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Zach. So I wanted to also get pictures and video inside of the public offices in this on this facility and also look and see what our tax dollars are getting uh, put into, like pictures, and also want to see if you guys are ADA compliant and uh, look at some other compliance-related uh, tasks that I can observe from public, basically. Right. Okay. So, so are you wanting to go into the facility? Yes. Any, anywhere that's publicly accessible, whether or not you have an appointment, anyone right. that would go in there for services per se. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm not there for those services, but I would right. want to be, I want to have the same access so I can observe and see, you know, those. So uh, anything public facing would be this. Mm -hmm. Anything so you, behind that door is employees. So that woman sitting at the desk in there is an employee? I was, just, I was just, I was just, I was just, yeah. So if you have an appointment, members of the public can go beyond right. that point. Yeah. But so without an appointment, we can't just let you free reign within the district. I'll take an escort. Do you have That's no. not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Have an ID because in order I don't to drive. make you a badge, we can't, yeah. you have to have an ID. Well, I don't have a, I don't Do drive. Do you have a government so, no. um, identification card? No. Anybody that goes back there, even for an appointment, we have to print out a visitor badge based off your ID. What about a homeless person? How do they get in? They, they, 
We're gonna have to circle back on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm not homeless, but I don't have an ID of any right. kind, so I don't drive. Right. So how do I gain access into the rest of the taxpayer uh, funded building? We'd have to find out for you. If you, I mean, we can. If you leave your number, we can definitely circle back. Well, I gotta catch a flight later on. That's why this okay. process isn't really convenient for the public. Okay. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. Shenanigans. Na 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks, because of the truth of the matter is, he would need an ID to board a plane. All airlines now have policies in place stating that you must have a photo ID to verify that it's you who is on the ticket. If you do not provide them with a photo ID, verifying that it is your identity and it is your ticket, you do not get to board the plane. So Zach here could either face up and give up his ID to get a pass to do his quote-unquote journalism, or he can continue to lie and be a typical fr Um, Is there somebody, I don't care if you, have, if you get a janitor <laughs> to walk me around, um, but I have legitimate business, First Amendment protected business. You're lying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sure, let me, let me make a quick phone call. Sure. If you want to grab his request, and then I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait. In, I'll wait in here. It's fine. Yeah, it's going to be three items. Pretty easy. Three items. Yeah, it's going to be first, last names. Okay. Titles, job titles, that is, and salary. And I'll actually add a fourth item now that I think about it. Okay. Um, this process that. Uh, Ms. Cruz just described, is that a policy or is that just a practice? Which process? For the IDs? The IDs. Um, I think she's grabbing someone to better explain that. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you could just add that as a fourth item on there, just add a copy of whatever that policy is that covers the process of a member of the public gaining access into the building. Okay. I, I... appreciate it. Clarify, you want the first and last names of all employees here at this building. Correct. Their job title and their salary. Yep, and then a copy of the policy for gaining access into the other parts of the building. Do we need a, apparently an, an appointment for? Okay. And then your name. My name is Zach. Last name. I'm going to leave that private. I'll give you my email though. It's uh, Liberty Troll. L I B E R T Y. Troll is T R O L L dot LLC at Gmail. Perfect. Thank you. Hi, how you doing? Um, Zach here had wanted clarification on the process for visitors entering the building with how we have to have an ID to get them a visitor badge and you wanted clarification on what that was. Yeah, if you don't have an ID, how do you how does one get into the building? Oh well it's quite simple. It's so simple, even a child could understand it. You don't. Wouldn't that be a Fourth Amendment violation? If somebody wants to keep their Fourth Amendment protected? Not for this. This building is considered school property. We can't just let anybody around the property. Is it government property? Yes. So it's taxpayer funded? But this is a secure building, a secure facility. You have to ID yourself just like you would when you go to a school. We have to run your name to make sure you're allowed to be around juveniles, kids in these types of facilities. Do you guys run a background check? No. So how do you know? You make sure you're not a sex offender or wanted for anything. So you do a background check? This is not a background check, so. All right. Well, I, I value my Fourth Amendment respectfully. <laughs> I don't want to give up my personal identifying information. I, we can't let you do that. You can see these doors are all keyed. We can't just let you wander around. You're going to walk around the lobby and outside, Microsoft out. So what I'm here to do is I'm, I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. Um, You're not even a real journalism. That's right. Doing an investigative journalism piece on the uh, school district here in Brevard County. Um, so basically what... Brandsburg v. Uh, Brandsburg v. Uh, 
Hayes says, there's case law, it's already been decided upon, that wherever the public has access, the press also has equal access. The public does not have access past this point. I'm sorry? The public does not have access past. If they have an appointment, they, they can. They still have to be ID'd. Yeah, but that, that, if that's a violation. If anybody else outside coming in they have to be ID'd and run the name and make sure, again, that they're. Is that a, yeah, I understand. Is that a policy or, or yes, is it just, just the practice? That's the, way we, that's the law. That's the law? Yeah. What law is that that you have to get, to be ID'd in order to enter into a, the people's building? It's, it's taxpayer people, funded. It's not the people's building. You see, we're in the lot of that. I understand, I understand that. I understand that, but. We, what can we do for you, so, Besides get you in here, can't, can't so I'll acknowledge like what you're trying to say is like there's certain areas that are designated by government officials, public servants as authorized personnel only. But there's also areas that are open. They have services that we pay for that are given if back to the public. Board meeting or something like that, then they can go from here to the, to the boardroom, but that, that's not the case right now and today. I'll explain why this is a violation um, of the Fourth Amendment and also our First Amendment. So you have freedom of press. Get ready, everybody. He's about to do something stupid. And the, under the First Amendment, right? So with freedom of press, that gives us the right to observe our government in the course of their official duties. But what's going on here with this process, which I'm still trying to determine if it's a policy or just the process you guys are just used to it's doing. It's a secure building that's not accessible to the but You can't just come and go. It's not like a mall or a supermarket or even, you can't even do that in a school. I, I understand that. But has, in order for it to be enforceable, you have to have some kind of like, you know, do you guys have a policy in place for that? Okay. So I already forward requested that, so I should be getting that if, that's, if that exists. But basically, wherever the people can... I'm sorry, yeah, she's, yeah, she has it. So basically, wherever the people can go in a building, um, regardless of an appointment, the press can also go in those same areas. Because, you know, it wouldn't make sense, the logic behind that is, it wouldn't make sense for an average Joe to walk into an office for services, regardless of an appointment, and the press can't get in there. Um, but if they need me to be escorted, like if you want to escort me, I'm totally cool with that. Now what Zach and J-Town and all the other fraudsters seem to misunderstand with the Brentworth v. Hayes case is simply... They are not press. And it's not that the press can't go there. The press can go there just like the public can. And the public has the same access to the areas that the press does. It's just they all need to follow the same criteria. They need to provide ID to get a visitor's badge to go there. Now, something else is that this is a limited public forum, not a traditional public forum. As the officer said, Zach has full permission to film in this lobby and outside to his heart's desires. But if he wishes to go any further, he needs to provide ID. And it is not a violation of his Fourth Amendment because it's not an unreasonable search or seizure of his papers. So, all of this is just him trying to spit out some hogwash or verbal shenanigans to get his way. Without ID, I don't know. I can't just, again, secure the building. I can't just take you in there. I can't take you in there without ID you and making sure that there is nothing in your background yeah i understand the reasoning behind that but again that's we live in the united states and that's an infringement of our fourth amendment right you know freedom freedom's not safe <laughs> but listen um if this were like a private business or something then that would be the end of the discussion right but this as it is, this is a public building. It is funded by the on the taxpayer this dime. Is secure, this is not just your right of a building, though. This is a school. Yeah, I'm and it's you can't. And again, it's, it's secure. You have to have key access. It's the same thing as like a city hall or a DMV or whatever. It's no yeah, more. You can't just go wandering around it either. I mean, it is, but oh I, yeah. I haven't been to one of the to a city hall in a while. So in the public know. areas, you can. Yeah. All I'm saying is that you guys have public offices back here, and I understand you guys have like a process you're trying to implement where you need to ID somebody, make you feel better, more comfortable bringing somebody, a member of the public back in there. But again, those are still public areas because they're accessible to the public. They're open to the public. Which, what's open to the public? Those, all, those offices. Public. Yeah, this is that one. Is of, yeah, that's one of them. Again, but unless there is a school board meeting, there's a school board meeting, they can get to, from here to the board meeting. Everything else is locked. And they're not ID'd, are they? They are not because they're there's somebody right. here, there's somebody right there, and they can they're, they're making right. make sure they go right into that building. So it's it just coincidentally it's safer during a public meeting. Nobody's ID yeah. during that time. You see you see how what I mean? It's kind of well, you doesn't can't make get sense. Past the it's all the Where's the boardroom? This, it's right, it's right, it's right, it's right. Can I go in the boardroom? No, 
No, there's no board. It's only open during board meetings. If you want to come back during the board meeting, yes, you can go in there. I mean, I just want to take a look at the boardroom, like to get some pictures and video. You want to ID yourself. Uh, no! For being a secure facility, anybody that goes past this point is ID. Okay, well, I, we're, we're not going to agree there. It's, it's, it is technically a Fourth Amendment violation. Wrong! Um, keeping your private information private. I don't know if you guys have encountered this before or not, but I wanted to make that, make that clear. I've gone to plenty of uh, uh, school districts or school boards that basically you can go into any areas that have a public office like a PI, like her office, basically. Like your office has like, I assume a desk where people can walk up to the desk. You've got the glass there. You That's guys don't have a set up. So it's all, so what you're saying is all private offices. Correct. So when visitors come here, what, for, for an appointment, what are some of those appointments for then? Like if you have somebody makes an appointment, like what kind of appointment would that be to be able to go back there and be escorted? If it's all private offices, what are they looking at? It depends, it varies on what appointment they may have. So it's not, I mean, can you give me one example of an appointment so I can make an appointment for that? Um, same reason to, to get past the security well, measures. Well, you still have to identify yourself in order to get past the security measures. I understand that. I'm just going to pretend for a moment that's not, <laughs> that's not part of it. So you want them to help you with your fraud editing. You want them to tell you how to set up an appointment so you can go under the guise of that to gather content for a fictitious story. Hmm. You know, either you're just really dumb or just really lazy. And I have to call a little bit of shenanigans here because, yeah, you've been to several school districts before and have it shown ID and have it signed in, and you've been trespassed from a lot of them. The process, but um, what, what, what appointment would one need to make, assuming they had ID, to be able to get into the uh, other areas? Like, what appointment would that be? What's one example? What's one, what's one example of an apartment department here that somebody would make an appointment for to be escorted to for services? If you wanted to make an appointment to bring your camera and stuff in, you could do that with us, but you would have to ID yourself. We would need an ID or something so that we could ID you. Yeah, I don't mind making an appointment, but like I said, you know, we have a Fourth Amendment in the United States, and I take that very seriously, you know. I value my, my private information, you know. If I go into a doctor's office or something, I'll give it because it's private. I have to, but um, public, you don't have to do that. Right, then like um, Lieutenant Smith was explaining, this isn't your traditional public government building because it's a school facility. No, it is. It, it falls under the category of a limited public forum. So you got time, place, manner restrictions. Okay. And one of those, so time basically is hours of operation, place, it's a public building, it's funded by our tax dollars, and then three, manner, you know, that would be like peacefully recording for my, my for my, uh, to, to get, make myself an example, but, um. This guy is fucking stupid! <laughs> you know, uh, is, this sounds like this is your first time probably coming across this. You've never had anybody come in here, not who values their information wants to tour the building for any reason? Am I the first one? If people, if people come in and provide proof of identification, we work with them. Yeah, I, you said that. I just did, um, so this is your first time coming across this then, right? Like I said, if people provide identification, we work with them. Okay. And we um, want to keep going in circles. Is there anything that we can help you with? If you don't have ID, unfortunately, you cannot get across it. Yeah, so back to my question. Yeah, yeah. So, so assume I had an ID and, and I said, okay, I'll make, I'll show my ID, but now I need to make an appointment for uh, a service to go back in here mm -hmm. into the other offices and things that people come here for with an appointment. What, what's, what are some examples of, of such appointments? I mean, you can go on our website and see all of the different departments that we have and kind of come up with your own judgment on that. But you don't, you don't have any, okay. You don't have an, you don't have an example. I have, I have to go look it up. No, no, I'm nuts. They're not going to give you an example so you could try to talk to them in circles even more. So let's jump ahead to where Zach claims to have a violent encounter with an individual attacking him. Hey, dude, don't record me. Hey, dude, don't record me. You're in public. Huh? You're in public. I'm not recording you. Hey, don't why touch me. Why is the screen hey, Don't touch me. Hey, don't touch why'd me. Why'd you hit me? I'll forever change the way you brush your teeth if you touch me again. Hey.
Oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Don't touch me Don't or my property. Me. Get away. Me. Step back. Don't Get back. Me. Get back. That's right, you're in public. Learn the law. Okay. Um, here's your copy. There's no need for us to sign it because I'm going to go and drop it off and I can give you a number for the records person if you have any questions, like if she received the records request or anything like that. Okay. So the superintendent, uh, he's in a meeting right now? Yes, yeah, he's not available right now. So okay. we're when not is, gonna... When is your next council meeting? Our next school board meeting? School board meeting, excuse July me. July 30th. Okay. okay, cool. I think that's all you guys can do for me. I appreciate you, you know, taking the time to help me. It's just mm -hmm, yeah. unfortunate the way things, some, some public buildings have the same exact sort of policies mm -hmm. or practices and it's unfortunate. It, it shows a real disdain for the public. And I know that's probably not where you stand, but you know, that's just the way it looks. It's a bad look for the, for the city or county. But yeah, thank you for your help. Appreciate you. No problem. Ma'am, can I talk to you? Yeah. No, not you. Sorry. You guys are good. You guys are good. I want to... Yeah. So that, that gentleman, could you, could, you, could you detain him for me before he gets away for assaulting me? He just grabbed my camera and I got it on film. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> so I want you to detain him, please. Don't, don't let him get away. Oh, he's right there. I know where he is. I just don't want you near him. I'm going to keep my, uh, stay out of the personal space. <laughs> Now, it just seems like he's trying to escalate the situation even further. The gentleman told him he didn't want to be filmed, and I'll play the devil's advocate saying that yes, he does have the right to film him in public. There's no expectation of privacy in public. However, seeing that the man didn't want to be filmed and moved his camera out of the way, Zach is now trying to furthermore get this to turn into an even more volatile situation than it needs to be. I mean, it, it's just more of him trying to justify and play the victim more so he get those sweet clicks and views that he so desperately wants. Do you want an admission? Are you threatened? No. Yeah. I mean, all I did was ask him to stop recording. No, you grabbed my property. Uh, so are you not going to separate yourself a little bit from the situation? He's not leaving my sight. He's not leaving my sight. Standing right here, you can stand over there just so we don't have an issue. I'm, I'm not in his personal space. I'm good. Understood. Now for time again pacing, we're gonna jump ahead to when the sheriff's department shows up to deal with Zach's claims of an assault and for the sake of transparency, I will cover what happens in this section that I'm taking out. It's more of him just standing there quietly and being asked to step back by the lieutenant while he tries to detain the individual there. Here today. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, you're here to see me, right? Yes. Yeah, I was the one that was assaulted, so. Okay, can we go outside and talk? Uh, right here's fine, or right over here's fine. Okay. So I was standing right here where we're going. Um, just mind my own business. I was actually waiting on the, uh, the PIO to come out to give me the stamped copy of the public records request that I came here to get, which was accomplished. So I was waiting here for her, and then there was a gentleman standing over there. He's still here. They took him back into a restricted area. Okay. I don't know his name or anything, but um, never met him before. He just started yelling at me from across the uh, lobby area, saying not to record him, which I wasn't. I mean, I couldn't even see him from where I was because there was a person standing in front of him. He just wanted to be a star, I guess. But he came at me. Um, and I told him, you know, if you're in public, there's no expectation of privacy in public. I'm not, I told him I'm not even here to record you before he even got up to me. So when he got up to me, he, uh, he swatted at me, like, you know, and hit my camera and stuff like that. I, I showed the officers or deputies, um, okay, what happened. Did you get it on camera? I did. You want to see it? Yeah. Okay. So you saw the video, correct? Yes. Do you okay. have a driver's license on you? No, I don't. Why would you need that? I need your ID. If you want to make a report, I have to have, I have to know who you are. 
Um, I can give you my, my first name, last name, birth date. You can find Why everything you that way. Why don't you have your driver's license on you? Did you drive here? I'm not going it. to. It's, it's irrelevant. I can give you all the information you need. I don't have my ID on me. Well, I got to be able to identify you. Okay. Anybody can give anybody's name. Well, are you going to? I'm going to do a report. Well, I need to know first. Are you going? That's an arrestable offense. Are you guys going to arrest him? Is he detained right now? Listen here, Frody. Uh, you don't get to determine who gets arrested and who doesn't. They have to do an investigation. And if you want them to do a report on this, they need your name. You could provide them with your with your ID or a driver's license, and you could have this go about a hell of a lot faster. Instead, you want to play these little games. I mean, it's like you're trying to hide something. Do you have active warrants or something? Are, are you being looked at for something? Are you not supposed to be around these schools? It makes people want to question things. Sir. Hey, how you doing? Okay. Can I show you the video first, and I'm going to get your your take we're on confirm it? Confirm who you are, because no offense, we don't know who we're dealing with. Well, it doesn't matter. I was assaulted. It does matter. You want to make it? If you guys witness an assault, you would arrest that person, correct? Possibly an assault. Okay. I'll show you. I'll show you the video. And then if it's an assault, I want to see you guys, I want to see what you're going to do. I don't want you guys to get my ID and stuff and to be like, okay, sorry, we don't see that as an assault. But thanks for the ID. We now we know who you are. I want to, I want to keep my Fourth Amendment protected unless I know you guys are going to arrest him. You sure you got the right amendment? Fourth Amendment? Yeah. Yeah. Unlawful search and seizure? Yeah, I don't want to give him my identification. I, I value my private information. That's under the Fourth Amendment. Well, if you're making amendment. a report, I need your identification. I need to know who you are. Well, I need to know. Can you, I show you the video? Who, who's, who rank, outranks you? Are you the, so you're the corporal, right? She, she has she and, more rank over me, sure. Okay, cool. So what, what's, what did you I just watch? I need your name and date of birth. I need your ID. Uh, we'll get to that. If you're going to make a report, I'll, I need to know who you ma are. Ma'am, I'll get to that. But what you just witnessed, is that assault, yes or no? I didn't see him make contact with your camera. He came towards you, and then I saw you put your hand out and tell him to get away. Okay. I did not see him you didn't see him. You didn't see him hit the camera? I did not see him hit okay. the camera. Okay, so you saw how he hit this and this went like this you saw that right? i saw him coming towards you i did not see him hit the camera okay so why would i give you my identification if you don't even well, see you it want to make a report, I'm gonna do a report. it's not an assault because he didn't touch you it's not battery because he didn't hurt you this is clearly just you wasting people's time just give them your id if you want them to file the report if not just let the hell go seriously this isn't Hungry Jack or Burger King, you don't get it your way here. You want them to file the report, you want them to arrest him, they, you want them to file charges with the DA, you cooperate. If not, grow the hell up and go about your business. Okay, well, we I'll call just do this it. out here so I'm going to do a report. So I need to know who you are so I can do a report. Oh, just put John Doe on it, I guess. I can I can choose to prosecute later if I want to give the rest of my information. All you, all you need is John Doe. Good. Sorry. Yeah, you can put John Doe for all I care. Uh, it's not my name, but you can put John Doe. And later, if I want to prosecute, I'll, I'll have to. make a report of this or not? To make a report, you don't need all my information. Yes, I do. To prosecute, yes. No, to make a report, I need your name. My name's Zach. You can't proceed with an investigation if we don't have an identifier. Did you, you get? Want... Did you get his information? Not yet. I'm okay. I tell you what. You guys get his information I got first. His information. Oh, you got Let's it. Worry about okay. You. okay. What's I'm his? Here to what's you. his name? You want to be? You want to? You are the victim. I need to know who you are. Okay. Well, who's he? Who is he? They're not going to give you his name. They're not going to give you his information, because it would put him and his family in jeopardy if you or one of your followers decided to retaliate against him. And if. They did do that, and somebody did retaliate against him because of what he did to you. They're held liable. So, to protect them and him from your idiot followers, they're not going to give you his name. What's his name? I don't need to tell you that information. Is he an employee? Is yeah, he an employee here? Let me see his Okay. But I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know this guy. You saw how aggressive he was. He approached me aggressively with the intent to do harm, right? So, so he he had the intention to do me harm, as far as I was That's a concerned, assumption. right? Okay. But it was obvious. The guy came at me True. aggressively, correct? Right, and he True. put his hands out. Sure. And if I wouldn't have done this, he probably would have gone full blown hands on. Dramatization may not have happened. Right. But That's probably because I can't arrest people for what they might have done. But he did agree. He did 
try to intimidate me. Intimidation, okay. approaching intimidation somebody right. aggressively with the intent to do harm. I think in the court of law, if somebody were to watch that video, they'd be like, yeah, he, it was pretty you clear. He was- to show that video. I'm telling, I've been doing this 20 years. I'm telling you, that doesn't meet either statutory requirement. If I can bring up the statute, we can read them together. I'm not trying to blow you off. I'm telling you, it does okay. not meet battery. It's either make contact with you. It does not meet assault because yeah, it has to be a well-founded fear and the individual has the ability and opportunity to cause it, and he has to show that one want to cause some type of harm. There's none of that there. He's obviously trying to make you stop filming him. So it's not gonna meet battery or assault. It could be grounds for an injunction if you want to apply for an injunction. I don't know if the judge would grant it. There's a case. And we're gonna end it here, folks. Zach tries to make an argument about another case that has nothing to do with him or any of the situations that he's in, except for he was filming at a private establishment and filming somebody who is a public figure. Zach is told by the sheriff's deputies that it does not meet the criteria for anything, and they will talk to the guy, and if he's a school board employee, that they will talk to the school board and let them discipline him. He refuses to give up any of his personal information to file a report, and continues to go outside to say, that the police were let down and it was a fail for the audit. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe. Special thanks to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous ongoing support, I couldn't keep the channel going. So I want to thank all of you personally from the bottom of my heart.